Hi viewers, I am Malini Mandi and I follow Ricky Chada Astro Healer on YouTube. Hello friends, this is Ricky Chada from Astro Healer. On the 17th of September, Sun is transiting from the sign Leo to the sign of Virgo. Sun is leaving his own sign and getting into the sign of Mercury, Virgo, a very intellectual sign, a very practical sign. It shall remain in this uh, sign till the 17th of October. <clears throat> now, what is this transit going to bring for you? Let us discuss about it right from Aries Lagna to the Pisces Lagna. And as I have been always uh, suggesting you, look at from the Lagna and then maybe even consider it from Moon and try to understand like you know whether your Lagna is more strong or your Moon is more uh, is strong. That will give you a correct, you know, view of what is there for the next 30 days. <clears throat> so let's begin. Uh, but before I begin, I would uh, appreciate if you can join the membership of my uh, channel and keep me motivated. Thank you. So the first sign that we shall be talking about is a sign of Aries. For Aries, <clears throat> what is in store for you? See, Sun rules your fifth house and would be transiting into the sixth house. Sixth house is a house of disease, debts, enemies. So, Keeping this in mind, let us, see, uh, let us see what is in store for you. See, if I look at the horoscope from the point of view, you will definitely overcome your enemies. <clears throat> your work also will be successful. That means if you are on a job or something, it's going to be successful. Things will be very smooth at workplace. And anything that you are waiting for a long time will come to an end. That means anything that was uh, stuck somewhere. If you are a student and even if you are a working professional in both the cases, you will see good results this time. So for ADs, it's a very good time, I would say. Financially, uh, if I look at your horoscope, if I look at the transit what is in front of me, if you are doing a business so if you are a businessman you can apply for loan if you want to expand your business now but I would advise you think look at the project look at the whole process and then take a final decision. Taking a loan is, will not put you in, uh, in any risk. I would, uh, I can, I'm sure about it. Relationship wise, maybe this is not a, going to be a good time for you. And there is, uh, there could be ego clashes, which may lead to a heartbreak. So it's best that for the next 30 days, keep a little, uh, keep away from your love. But if you're married, you have to work on your relationship with your spouse to make it smooth and don't get into any um, argument or any conflict with, with your life partner. If you want to appear for any competitive exam, I'm talking to the students right now, you will definitely be successful because sixth house is a house of competition. Even your health, 
I see an improvement. So this is all for the sign of Aries. The next sign is Taurus. Lagna Taurus. Sun rules your fourth house and transiting into the fifth house. Now what is the fifth house? Love, romance, children, speculation. All this is look from the fifth house. Yes, I can say not a very favorable period for you. You may fa face some difficulty with your children. You may even uh, indulge into some issues with your seniors at workplace. Your relationship with your uh, superior or maybe even your colleagues may get a little strained. Professionally, I would say that you should be very careful in dealing with individual at workplace and try to maintain a cordial relationship with them. Relationship wise, there may be some problem with your love or with your spouse. Even health issues can be seen for your children. So take care of your children also during this transit for the next 30 days from 17th to 17th of October. There might be some misunderstanding also with your uh, with your spouse. So it's best that you uh, stay away from any argument. So your mental state your stress level, your respect in the society, all are getting disturbed. So this is, I'm sorry to state then, this is not a very good transit for you. Health wise, you need to stay away and take care because there's a chances of a viral infection as well. The next sign is the sign Gemini. Gemini Lagna, <clears throat> the ruler, the lord of your third house, it is going to transit into the fourth house. Fourth house is your mother, domestic happiness, comforts, luxuries, landed property, property, vehicles, everything is looked from the fourth house. Now, for Gemini uh, Lagna, this is going to be a good time if you want to resolve a few of the issues in your family and you should always look forward to an open discussion with them don't keep anything within you if you wish to continue your study if you have taken a, a break then this is definitely a very good time to continue your studies it is not a very good time to get into any sort of conflict with your loved ones because there could be a chances of misunderstanding with each other. So I would advise you think before you speak in order to avoid a heated argument with your spouse or with your loved ones. From the career perspective, I would say the working environment may suffer and there would be a, no, a low confidence in you. So try to boost up your confidence. This is only for 30 days. If you are looking to buy a property, then you should be very careful. while documentation because there is a chances of a fraud you may even find it very difficult to make decision during this period so i would advise you if you can look for a mentor you know and like you know don't take decision on your own Talk to few people, 
before you sign up for anything. Relationship also is not going to be very good. I have already spoken about it. Health-wise, this is going to be a favorable period for you. You will enjoy good health most of the time for the next 30 days. So I would say few things if you can avoid, this is going to be a good period for you. Fine. The next sign is cancer. For cancer lagna, I see the lord of your second house is getting into the third house. The third house is of courage, valor, your siblings and short travels. It is also the house of your, you know, communication, mass, media, all these things are uh, uh, ruled by the third house. During this transit of 30 days from 17th of uh, September to 17th of October, you will have a favorable period and you will have a lot of courage in you. And this is going to, this courage will help you in your professional life as well. Your communication skill and the ability to convince people also is going to help you in uh, like, you know, a uh, long way. You will get to know more people, you will connect to more, more people and you will impress them by your work, by your communication, by putting across your points. So it's a very good time for you. There will also be a good opportunity for cracking new deals uh, at your workplace. And if you are a student and if you are studying, This is a good period. You must concentrate and you will definitely achieve whatever you, uh, you are desiring for. Financially, if you, are invest, you want to invest in real estate, that means land or, uh, or property or vehicle, just go ahead and do it. It's a very good time. And you may even uh, have a lot of travels, maybe work related also and otherwise. Relationship wise, you will have a great time with your spouse or your loved ones or your love. And you may go for a short travel with your family as well. Married people, I see good uh, you know, uh, it's a good time for both of y'all. Health wise, your health is going to be average. Good. So it's time for you to enjoy the wealth, the luxury, the name and the fame in society. It's a great good time for uh, cancer people. Next sign is a sign Leo. For Leo Lagna, the Lord of your first house is transiting through your second house. Second house is of wealth, speech. It is your I. So during this transit, I see sudden gain of money. Maybe you win a, if you have put some uh, in share market, I think you're going to uh, do very well. Your communication is getting better, better and better. If you are searching for a job abroad, you would get a positive result. And if you are not looking for a job abroad, but if you are looking for money from abroad or if you are working for a company which is uh, got collaboration with a foreign uh, company, it's a good time for you. Your respect and your status is uh, in the society is improving. It is advised not to indulge yourself in any type of arguments though. And arguments with your senior, you should try to avoid it. And don't take any hasty decisions at this time while you are investing. 
financially you will seek more and more wealth now and you will invest into long term long term long term investments relationship wise if i talk about the transit is very neutral so your relation with uh, other people uh, would be fine but try to avoid any argument because argument can spoil things for you health wise your health is going to get a little disturbed during the transit and you may have some minor accidents this is a good time if you want to do any research work or get into the depth of uh, any uh, you know uh, to gain some knowledge because sun is looking at your eighth house now eighth house is a dark house of research getting into something very deep so it's a good time so i would say it's a good time for uh, uh, leo lagna leo rashi the next sign is virgo for virgo lagna the lord of your 12th house is into your first house first house is your personality you yourself your image your nature your characteristics during this transit because sun is coming from the 12th house it will not work quite well for you in the in the financial uh, perspective now your finances have to be controlled because the lord from the house of expenses is coming over here so control your expenses business wise also not a good time not uh, you know a good uh, opportunities or profitable deals may not come through your way if you are into a job you may feel very irritated and whatever you were expecting as an incentive or increment or something that may not come your way that could be also the cause of your irritation relationship wise with your partner will be a little better depending on sun if it is placed quite well in your chart otherwise what will happen is you will get into lot of arguments so look at the position of the saturn and where saturn oh sorry uh, sun i'm sorry sun where is it now because you being preoccupied maybe with lot of other work you may not be able to give give quality time to your family and that may cause a little problem in your relationship health wise also it is not a very good period for you you may face some illnesses or skin related problem because understand virgo is ruled by mercury and mercury is rules your skin that would impact your physical appearance also so if 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 you get some rashes or something on your face or your hand or something which is uh, exposed so you have to take care of that that's very important the next sign is the sign libra for libra lagna the lord of your 11th house is in the 12th house now 12th house the 12th house signifies or speaks about foreign gains from foreign spirituality and expenditure or expenses during this transit of sun this is going to be an average time for you and this will give you an opportunity to finish some pending uh, projects in your hand now you would want to cut down on socializing a little bit during this time so you will uh, you will not uh, be very much you know enthusiastic of getting into social gatherings 
this transit may create problems in your studies if you are a student and you may find very difficult to concentrate on uh, on a subject professionally you should be careful for your investments and business uh, and even relationship with your business partner there could be an increase in your troubles and you may get into conflict with people who are very close it could be a friend it could be a relative or whatever it is now those who are trying to go, go abroad or you are waiting for for a long time okay you will definitely get a very positive result financially your expenses are likely to definitely rise because the 12th house talks about expenses but you should not worry as it will not be so much that it will surpass or go beyond your capacity your income also is going to be uh, it will commensurate it is advised to avoid investment in the areas that has got high risk of returns so best uh, if i talk about share market or something play very safe because that is not going to be a good uh, thing for you your travel related business if you are into a business where traveling is uh, there you must avoid because there is you may not get good results so if you travel to a foreign country and trying to crack some deal and if it doesn't happen definitely uh, it's going to be like you know uh, it will not be fruitful relationship wise it would be a, a difficult period so you should maintain a balance okay with, uh, uh, in your relationship and your personal life because it may cause a little distress and mental anxiety if you are married for married couples i would say you will get mixed mixed result average now due to the uh, aspect of sun directly looking at your 6th house you are likely that you may apply for a loan you want to take some loan and the loan will be sanctioned also if you are looking for it health wise you will get mixed result so it is required for, for from you that you take precaution if you have minor problems like especially injuries and accidents are also seen over here so there is few good points in it and there is something that you have to be very careful the next sign that we will be talking about is a sign scorpio for scorpio lagna <clears throat> the lord of your 10th house is in the 11th house the lord of the house of profession is into the income house it is a house of income the 11th house and fulfillment of your desires during this time yes favorable time for you your social connections also are immensely flourishing i would say and you are going to get get help from all the uh, you know corners you will see success fame name during this trans uh, transit income also is rising business if you are into a business also you will run your business very well and if you are into a job also you will get appreciation from the higher authority it's a good chance for your promotion good chance for your uh, income to rise relationship wise also you will have a very cordial uh, relationship with your family with your loved ones your children and your friends married people married couples i would say will also enjoy a very blissful time during this period health wise your health would remain good during this period no health issues that i can see so thumbs up good time after a long time fine now the next sign is sagittarius 
Sagittarius, the Lord of your ninth house would be traversing from your tenth house. Tenth house is profession, career, name, fame, all that you normally look for. During this time, all your hard work would be appreciated. All your efforts at your workplace shall be appreciated by your seniors, by your colleagues, by your, you know, by your boss, whatever you say. You are likely to achieve opportunities for growth, progress in job. There are also chances of promotion. Financially, I see it's a favorable, uh, getting favorable result from some of your decisions about investment. So wherever you had invested, okay, your expenses also shall remain into much of uh, control. In relationship, uh, if I look at your chart, you will spend good quality time with your loved ones. You will feel self-motivated. After a long time, my dear friends, you are just at the at the edge now. Sadasati is just about to leave you. It's time for you to flourish now. You may wish to learn more now to enhance your skill so that it helps you in future. Health-wise, if you have been suffering, okay, for a long time, you will get the cure, you will improve and this is a very good time for like you know, in all perspective I would say it's a very good time for you. Thumbs up for Sagittarius people also. The next sign is Capricorn. Capricorn. Now the Lord of your 8th house it getting into the ninth house. Ninth house is a house of luck, fortune, and religious activities. During this transit, you have to be a little careful because maybe someone is going to betray you. So you have to be very vigilant, very careful. There could there's a high chances of you getting into a fraud. I would advise you not to share any of your secret with anyone and when I say anyone means anyone because some people may take this information and use it against you. If you are planning for a job change or you want to divert your business, please postpone it. Don't take any chance this time. Stay calm during this uh, period and stabilize your position wherever you are. Don't make any changes because that may put you into a situation where it is from the pan to the fire. Financially, situation would be average. During this time, you are likely to get frustrated at some point of time because there would be a limitation on finances. So you must try to avoid any speculation. Don't put your money where you are not very confident. So share market, I will not advise at all for you. See in <clears throat> relationship, lack of mental peace in married life, because difference of opinion could lead to some problems, arguments, and that will increase your stress and your anxiety. You can take a chance to travel abroad if the need be so. Health wise for Capricorn Lagna, I would say to you have to take care of your health. Be serious about your health. In fact, do your exercise regularly. Physical activities should be there and try to relax your mind maybe through meditation or yoga or whatever 
This will help you to improve your health. This was all for, Capri uh, for Capricorn. Capricorn, please understand you are in the middle phase and soon in the month of April, you would be getting into the last phase of Sarasati. Relax. The coming time is good for you. Don't, don't stress yourself. The next sign is Aquarius. For Aquarius Lagna, <clears throat> the ruler, the lord of your seventh house is getting into your eighth house. Eighth house is a house of sudden losses, sudden gain, occult, inheritance, ancestral property, deep research, dark house. Now, keeping all this in mind, let us look at it, how it works for you. You will face a lot of challenges in the career and personal life. Also, don't even you don't have to forget you have entered into the Sarasati phase. This is the first phase of yours. Students who are pursuing higher education will also face a lot of obstacles this time. There will be a lot of distraction. Make sure that your company, your peer group, it's the right choice. Professionally also not a very good, uh, you may not get favors from your seniors, superiors and you may indulge into some internal politics at your workplace. So it is advisable, it's advised from my side, avoid any short trips for business as it may not, not, not give you fruitful result. Don't take any hasty decision of changing your career, changing your job or whatsoever. Do not do that, please. Financially, you are likely to get certain gains in terms of money, which will give you happiness. So money will come to you all of a sudden. Relationship wise, the time can be good with your romantic partner if you are having some problem then this transit will help you to make, make things better now also your relationship with your family members will definitely improve and you can expect a blissful time with them health wise you are advised to take good care of yourself because you may encounter some body pain, back pain, problems with your bone, calf muscles, joint pain. So it is advised that you keep your body fit by regular exercise, walk and meditation. This was all for Aquarius. The last sign in the zodiac belt is Pisces. Pisces, the last sign we shall be discussing about, the Lagna. The Lord of your 6th house is transiting into your 7th house. Now what is your 7th house? Marriage, your spouse, your business partner. All these are looked from this. Even your business to be very frank. During this transit, you may face a lot of difficulties because your opponents. Okay. And you will be spending most of your time in competing with them and this will put you into a position where you will feel completely exhausted and fatigue will set, set into you. Relationship with your spouse and even others will also get into trouble. There is also a very high chances of ego clashes with your spouse waiting is the best remedy at this time avoid any ego clashes otherwise 
the relationship is going to get in a bad bad position i would say i will also advise you to you should put lot of focus in your marriage and don't take it to a level where it is completely ruined professionally this transit will prove average you will progress in your work but keep in mind take good care while you are communicating with people especially your seniors because then that would lead to misunderstanding health wise you should remain constantly under well, you will remain constantly under the mental stress therefore it is advised to take proper care of your health by doing yoga meditation and be in a good state it's this transit is only for 30 days so don't don't stress yourself so friends this was all about all the lagnas right from pisces so from uh, uh, aries to pisces if you have liked this video first like it share it subscribe to my channel join my membership help me out thank you so much all the best god is with you and understand this is only a transit please understand that there are other as other planetary aspect also that has to be considered the dasha antardasha and so on thank you so much for watching riki chadda from astrohealer thank you